Amerika Serikat memveto resolusi PBB yang didukung oleh Arab dan didukung secara luas yang menuntut gencatan senjata kemanusiaan segera dilakukan oleh Israel. Duta Besar Amerika Serikat untuk Perserikatan Bangsa-Bangsa Linda Thomas Greenfield mengatakan draft resolusi Dewan Keamanan PBB soal gencatan senjata di Gaza adalah omong kosong. Dalam memungutan suara terbaru di DKPBB pada selasa 20 Februari 2024 waktu setempat, Amerika Serikat kembali memveto draft tersebut. Thomas Greenfield membeberkan resolusi itu merusak proses perundingan gencatan senjata yang diupayakan oleh Israel dan Hamas. Dalam memungutan suara tersebut, hasil pemungutan menunjukkan 13 negara setuju terhadap resolusi tersebut. Amerika Serikat menjadi satu-satunya negara yang memveto, sementara Inggris abstain. Dan untuk meloloskan resolusi, draft harus disetujui 9 anggota Dewan Keamanan PBB dan tidak ada veto dari 5 anggota tetap. Sehingga draft tersebut dinyatakan tidak lolos. Proceeding with a vote today was wishful and irresponsible. And so while we cannot support a resolution that would put sensitive negotiations in jeopardy, we look forward to engaging on a text that we believe will address so many of the concerns we all share, a text that can and should be adopted by the Council so that we can have a temporary ceasefire as soon as practicable based on the formula of all hostages being released. This temporary ceasefire is critical to getting aid into the hands of Palestinian civilians who desperately, desperately need it. Menanggapi veto Amerika Serikat tersebut, Presiden Palestina Mahmud Abbas mengatakan veto ini menjadikan Amerika Serikat negara mitra dalam kejahatan genosida, pembersihan etnis hingga kejahatan perang yang dilakukan Israel. Given today to Israel with this veto is that it can continue to get away with murder. Israel cannot and should not and will not get away with it. We will not allow it. This veto does not absolve Israel of its obligations nor of those who shield it. Not here in the Security Council, not in the, in the ICJ and not anywhere. Even if the Security Council continues to share its responsibilities to be obstructed by the veto of a permanent member over and over, the other organs of the international system are upholding their responsibilities. And one day or another, Palestinian children will not be viewed as a demography threat, but as children with a right to life and to fulfill their hopes and dreams.